If you've been following the 411 Outdoors YouTube channel for a while, you know that this guy loves a tracker knife. In this video, we're gonna be looking at a new one from Warivo. Stick around. Thanks for taking time out of your schedule to watch this video, my friend. I hope you find this content helpful and resourceful. Let's get rolling. Tracker knives, what can I say, man? I just love them. I love tracker knives. About 20 years ago, I saw the movie, The Hunted, and that was the first time I ever saw a tracker knife, but I was hooked. Man, in the training scene where they were forging it, and then later on in the movie where he kind of forges his own little makeshift tracker. I love that film, and I love how it puts a lot of focus on that knife, and ever since then, I've been intrigued by it. A while back, I just started collecting them, you know, looking for certain models that I liked, and it's just been a lot of fun. I don't want to get caught up in the controversy of who really designed the tracker knife because I'm well aware of the controversy as to who the original designer was. I did a video sometime back regarding why the tracker knife was my favorite, and I call it my favorite, but I really should just say I'm really passionate about them. I don't really have a favorite blade because I have different blades for different purposes, but I sincerely love the tracker design. A while back, I went out to Google and typed, you know, what tracker was showcased in the movie The Hunted, and it took me to the WSK, the Beck Wilderness Survival Knife. And I, I just think that right there is the ultimate tracker design. I believe it's the original. I could be wrong. That's what my research has pointed me to. And that is the design I love, and that's the design that I look for in the trackers that I buy, even if I have to buy budget tracker versions of it. And that search led me to Warivo. Out of all the tracker knives that I've looked at on Amazon and everywhere, this one reminds me the most of the Beck Wilderness Survival Knife that was showcased in The Hunted. Of course, it doesn't have as aggressive of a saw. This is a D2 knife here, and it's beautiful, and I have more than one copy of this but here's what i want to showcase in this video they have now released a new damascus version it's the same size it's got the same micarta handle the same dimensions it's just damascus i'm going to be transparent here i don't know much about damascus steel i used to think damascus steel was the expensive stuff but you know i've been reviewing a lot of budget knives and i'm seeing a lot of damascus steel even being sold in the budget knife world. So I don't know how it works. I know more about some steels than I do others. I'm pretty familiar with things like D2 and 1095 because I've had to review a lot of it. I know I've reviewed a lot of budget knives that are D2. I know D2 is a great budget knife steel, but I don't know much about Damascus steel. You go out to the specs, it says alloy steel. I've read where it's like a combination of carbon steels and nickel alloying. I've read that it's hard and flexible and can maintain its edge. But for me, I just think that looks beautiful. Now, not all Damascus schemes to me look good, but this looks really good. It's got a pattern that's easy to follow. Not all Damascus steels look good to me, but this one does. Fairly sharp right out of the box. It did cut through paper. The blade on this is five and a half. The handle is four and a half, but good size. 10 inches all together. Full tan construction here, about five millimeters thick. One thing I can tell you from experience, these things are tough. This is my D2 tracker. This is the first one I ever got from them. I've been able to keep an edge on it. And I have thrown this one a lot. Now I have taped up the handle here with hockey tape to throw this. I'm gonna tell you something. My favorite style of knife throwing is hammer grip, no spin. And there's no other knife in my collection that does better for me and that I enjoy throwing more than this. And throwing really, really torture test a knife. And this one has survived so much torture. As far as the practical application of a tracker, you know, the saws on the back of these, you know, with Walrevo tracker knives, you kind of get a different saw every time. That's one of the most inconsistent things about these when you order them is you might get one with a really sharp saw and then you might get one with kind of a dull saw. This one's kind of dull but it's still, you know, I guess sharp enough and edgy enough to cut a notch. This is not supposed to be for like sawing trees down. This is really for making notches for traps. These Warivos here have a very aggressive curve for skinning, gutting, and a lot of people like to 
carve with this end of the tracker. They like to get in that groove and carve that way. Right here, you've got a really nice slicing edge and you can use this edge here for batoning. You can use this area and this to baton with without having to use this area. This curve here can be very tricky to sharpen. You can tell it's really hard to get in that curve. Now, one thing you can do is use a, a file sharpener to get in that groove, or you can do like I do and use my Sharpen's Best uh, Sharpen Spark tool that I recently reviewed to get in that curve. I like being able to baton with this end of the blade. I just like the way it conforms to the object. Of course, you've got this side that you can chop with very well. You just get good leverage in your chopping with this end of the blade. The notching ability on this one is not too aggressive, but as you can tell, it's doable. Friends, not many things throw as good as my wall Revo trackers. Watch this hammer grip no spin. There's just something about the way these things are balanced. Hammer grip no spin, 15 feet. Rotational. They throw sweet. Trackers are a lot of fun to throw. But if you throw it, tape up this micarta handle with some hockey tape. It'll hold up very well for you. Out of all the budget trackers I've reviewed and looked at, these from Warivo are my favorite, hands down. They've got the best design. They look a lot like the original, and I just like the simplicity of it. I like that black straight handle and that simplistic tracker design blade like it's supposed to be. If you've got 2000 and some dollars to afford the Beck Wilderness Survival Knife, by all means, get that. But this is a good substitute if you don't have two grand. These things are selling for like 40 bucks on Amazon. And I can tell you, they hold up to a lot of abuse. I know from experience. Now let's talk about the sheath. It's the least impressive thing about Warivo Tracker Knives. And I know when reading a lot of the reviews, it's the biggest complaint that people have. Personally, I'm all right with it. It's basic. The only thing with me is it's a left-handed scout carry. I have to carry this on my right side as a right-handed guy because if you put this behind your back, it's a left-handed scout carry. But it gets the job done for me, and if it allows me to get these things for 40 bucks, then I'll take it. A lot of people are divided on whether or not the tracker knife is a combat knife, and I'm just of the belief that any knife that you have on you can be a combat knife. I mean, look at this thing, it's brutal. It can hook, it can grab, it can slice. It's big, it's heavy. Of course, this can do a lot of damage. It was presented as a combat knife and the hunted as well as a survival knife. It's just a wrecking machine. I have a lot of fun using tracker knives. I just love the way it feels in my hand. I love to throw them. I just really like this kind of blade. What's your thoughts on tracker knives? Which trackers do you have? What's been your experience with them? Do you carry them often? Do you use them often? I'd love to hear your story. Thanks so much for watching. Take care.